As this is all going on, there's also vaccine rollout that's happening across the world. And eventually in the next few weeks, it'll happen here in the States. Um, but your organization and, and the COVID Collaborative found that minorities are still somewhat hesitant to take a vaccine. What more do leaders need to do to lessen the concerns of Black and Latinx communities about the vaccine? But I don't think you're going to lessen their concerns overnight because we do live in this reality of past medical experiments that were intentionally misleading uh, against the need to have more diversity in clinical trials. And so for the NAACP, we will be hosting a teletown hall meeting next week to talk about the tension between the two of those realities, bringing to bear uh, experts in the field to answer any questions and talk it through, because we must get uh, this, this a global pandemic under control while at the same time, answer as many questions as possible so people can feel comfortable with participating in the vaccine. I think it's really important that we all watch what happens in the UK. We, we are happy that they have launched it. We should be first, but we're not. But we can watch to see, are there gonna be any satisfaction? What will be the impact of the massive vaccine uh, vaccinations that they're doing? And how fast can they turn around the contraction of COVID? Uh, we should be watching that closely as a country, and but also as a community. Absolutely. Well, I think we're going to leave it there. Derek Johnson, president and CEO of the NAACP, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Please come back to Quick Take. You always have a spot here with us. Tim? Great stuff, Jen. And I just do want to mention real quick off that uh, Melody Hobson news. She is a board member of Bloomberg Philanthropies, the philanthropic organization of Michael Bloomberg. He's the founder and majority owner of Bloomberg LP, which owns Bloomberg News. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.